Paul, let's talk about the story just a little bit. You're on the same side now as, as Dom, mm -hmm. and you guys got to get a team together. Why? Right. Um, well, basically, we're running for our lives, and uh, it's the only way to make things work. And uh, the, the, the funny thing about the whole deal is that, you know, here Brian's been a cop for a long time, and he's been a good guy. Right? And now here they are basically running for their lives, trying to keep, you know, out of jail or, you know, harm's way, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, the guy's happier than he's ever been. He's living more free, and I think he's far looser now than ever. You know, he's with the people he loves. He's with the guy that he sees as a brother, slash maybe even father figure, because he never had that, and, you know, the girl of his dreams. So he's floating through the midst of, all, you know, in the face of all this crazy stuff that's going on, he's just like, he's on a cloud at the same time. He's in a very happy place. But your backs get up against the wall, and you guys got to do some something big. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that heist. No, uh, you know, you, you know, you think about, all right, one, two, three, four, what, five now? Like, right, obviously there's the pressure that, you know, we got to do something ridiculous, something that people haven't seen before. And, uh, you know, for the most part, it's all been seen. You know, you think about heist movies. How many times have things been boosted, Jack, robbed, you know, hijacked, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, the sequence that I read for the first time when I read this whole heist sequence, I was like, it's pretty ambitious, you know. And I'm a pretty visual guy. Like, I can put stuff together. I can read it and, you know, connect dots and all that. But, man, nothing like, I couldn't have envisioned anything like what Justin put together. Like, I see the safe. I know how we're going to make it go down the streets and how we're going to sell this action sequence. But to actually see it tie together with that thing blowing through banks and taking cars out and all that. Um, mind you, I've just seen bits and pieces. So to see it in its entirety, uh, it's amazing. I, it's going to be next level for talk, sure. Talk about, let's talk about Justin. I mean, he wanted everything to be real because audiences see that. 200 and some cars were blown up, I mean, crashed. Yeah. And that, like you said, that, that vault, it's a real vault being pulled through the streets. Yeah. Talk about what that means to the audiences. Uh, I hope it means a lot. I don't really know because you know, I'm sitting here on this side. But, you know, from my position, that's sick. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, Justin's really, really competitive. And uh, I think it's because of that competitive nature. He's like, no, nah, I want to shoot it practical. I want to do it real. I don't want to do it CG. That's just his personality. That's his makeup. And I think, you know, in pulling it off, too, it's a little bit of a pop your collar kind of moment, you know, where Justin can come back and go, yeah, I'm the man, you know. There has to be some of that. I mean, he's a humble guy, and he doesn't put that on. But from what I've seen, what I know Justin to be, I know that's going on. I know that's sticking with him. And uh, I, I like to think that at the end of the day, people appreciate it. Because, I mean, we've seen CG this and CG that. And I remember when it first came around, the computer-generated stuff was pretty wicked because we were, like, going, wow. But then I feel like for the longest time we saw so much of it, after a while you're just like, oh, really? You may as well just be watching an animated movie, you know? So... Justin uh, is one of those guys, man. He just he wanted to make it happen. And audiences, they they will love it. They but the audience I've seen, they're going nuts. Good, so talk good. about uh, Dwayne Johnson, his addition. I mean, he played that role. So, uh, you ever see? It? He's great, and it, and it, he's a great addition. Talk about him and his and him being in this. Yeah, movie. you know the, the thing with Dwayne is like you know I watch him, and there's times I'm like going, man, this guy's just larger than life. You know, like is he real? Like really? Like you know, you get there and you talk with him at times. It's like he's just he just He's like perfect, you know. He's like there's just something about that guy. I'm like, going, what is it? Like, you know, there's something about this dude. And I don't know if it's something that he's developed or something that maybe he had innately. It was an organic thing that he was just born with perfection, or if it's a culmination of maybe he was born with some of it and he's worked on the other half. But uh, what he brings to, it, like you said, is just, you know, there's no better match, no better fit for the Hobbs role than Dwayne. I mean, he just, he just, he owned that stuff. When he walked on set, you're like. Yeah, there's Hobbs. <laughs> yeah.